Well, I went through the numbers um, yes. on the race. I, I use the word reset. Where do you think we are as we sit on a Friday compared to where we were last Friday? Uh, obviously, a dramatically different dynamic in the race. Uh, the uh, combination of popular culture, media, and pent up demand. Uh, for a stronger Democrat candidate, yes, uh, has uh, propelled uh, Vice President Harris to, uh, you know, a commanding position and a real threat to uh, a commanding President position. Or well, I would say, meaning that you know the the momentum starts to feel as though, and I, you know, it's fairly obvious I'm a Trump supporter, yes. but but uh, she has uh, momentum on her side, it feels like. It you does. Know? I mean, yeah. all these calls they've had this week yeah. and, and all that kind of... He used a funny phrase, or I think it's it's appropriate, pent up Exactly. Yeah. That was on both sides, by the way, for a while. We used to take these polls, 70 percent of the people, so we don't want either one of these guys running for president. Exactly. And when we saw a change, now we see the energy on the Democratic side. We just got the news in from Trump when he posted on social media, and we can put it up, I believe. He's going back to Butler, PA. He just said mm. that a few minutes ago. They're going to have a rally for Cory Compatore, apparently, and not, or in honor of him. Yes. Thoughts on um, on that? There, oh, this is his post. I'll be going back to Butler. Big, beautiful rally honoring the soul of our beloved firefighting hero. Talking about uh, Cory, though, and the brave p patriots that were injured a couple of weeks ago. What a day it will be. So no details, so stay tuned. But he says he's going back to Butler, PA. Um, well, it's appropriate to celebrate the life of Cory Comprator. Pennsylvania, obviously, is a key state. Yes. Uh, and uh, what's going to be most important is that President Trump uh, focus on everyone else whom he's seeking to serve. Focus on Cory. Focus on his life. Focus on the lives of his supporters who came to that rally, who come to his rallies, because they know that there is an existential threat in this country that affects all Americans that can only be repaired if we have policies that elevate the everyday American. Right. And uh, President Trump has to make that case compellingly because now there's a lot of energy behind an alternative candidate who is being, uh, it's a total reset for Kamala Harris, and she is taking on the theme of freedom. So he's going to have to... Yes. Uh, emphasize that, in fact, real freedom involves being free to be able to support your family as you see fit, to school your children as you see fit, uh, you know, yeah, to live your life without about debt. Reproductive yeah. rights of women and that kind Precisely. of thing. Now, speaking right. of women voters, um, th this race changes now with, and President Trump ran against a woman who was running against Hillary Clinton last yes. time around, but a woman at the top of the ticket and how the Republicans handle that. They got sidetracked a little bit this week um, by this, all this back and forth about J.D. Vance. So I want to play yeah. the clip and see what you think about it. You know how to win in these suburban districts yeah. uh, that have been challenging uh, for Trump. This Vance a few years ago made this comment. Now he's trying to clean it up, but here's mm. what he said. We're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made. It's just a basic fact. You look at Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, AOC, the entire future of the Democrats is controlled by people without children. And how does it make any sense that we've turned our country over to people who don't really have a direct stake in it? Now, never mind that Pete Buttigieg mm. has children now, and Kamala Harris always did. She's right, a she has two stepchildren. Exactly. Yeah. Um, now, it's cleanup time, and uh, Vance went on with Megyn Kelly. So I want, want you to uh, see what the Republicans can do with this. Here's what he said. Mm. But the simple point that I made is that having children, becoming a father, becoming a mother, I really do think it changes your perspective in a pretty profound way, that this is not about criticizing people who, for various reasons, didn't have kids. This is about criticizing the Democratic Party for becoming anti-family and anti-child. Okay. Hmm. What do you say? Um, well, I think it's the kind of uh, explanation that he would have to make. Uh, there are lots and lots of uh, women with children who support Democrats. Right. <laughs> there are lots and lots of women without children who support uh, Republicans. It's all about policy, and it's about the right attitude. Uh, J.D. Vance has a beautiful, very accomplished wife. Uh, you know, bring uh, Usha Vance forward uh, and, you know, let her uh, soften the image of Was her he husband. a mistake, though, as a pick, do you think? Are you worried about J.D. Vance as a Republican? I, I think he brings certain strengths. I, I, he, he does, but they have to be. In other words, uh, and a lot of his strengths lie in his story mm -hmm. of having been raised by an incredibly strong grandmother. Uh, you know, and bringing his own mom back into his life after right. a, a lifetime of challenges. But can they
Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.